Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over how to assess the deep tendon reflexes. What I'm going to do for you in this video is I'm going to go over a short overview on how to assess the deep tendon reflexes as a nursing student or nurse. Then I'm going to show you how to individually assess the following deep tendon reflexes. The bicep, the tricep, the brachioradialis, the patellar, and the Achilles. And in order to do this, you will need a reflex hammer. And this is what a common reflex hammer looks like. So you may be asking yourself, what is the purpose? Why do we even assess the deep tendon reflexes? Well, the deep tendon reflexes help us to evaluate the lower motor neuron slash fiber, fibers at specific levels in the body. So what that means is, say you're gonna take your reflex hammer and you're gonna assess the brachioradialis tendon. This tells us how the spinal nerve root C5 to C6 is working. Is it working appropriately? Or the tricep, say you're gonna hit on the tricep tendon. It tells us how C7 to C8 is working and I'll go over those individually whenever I show you how to do them. Now as nurses, whenever we are completing our assessments, our head to toe assessments, this is generally conducted during the neuro assessment part. And um, depending on what specialty you work in as a nurse, you will do this a lot more routinely than compared to other specialties. Now in nursing school, you're gonna have to learn how to do this, probably get checked off by your professor in eliciting responses in those five deep tendons. But as a nurse, you're not gonna do it as commonly as you are like listening to the lungs. Every nurse is going to listen to all their patients lungs, but not necessarily check their deep tendon reflexes For instance neuro settings and labor and delivery settings are probably going to use this skill a lot more than compared to a um, We'll say cardiac nurse because just to give you an idea, in labor and delivery, you have pregnant women, and pregnant women are at risk for preeclampsia. So one of the signs and symptoms of preeclampsia is hyperactive deep tendon reflexes. So you're going to, as a nurse, you're going to be checking those deep tendon reflexes to see if that's happening. And also, um, these women sometimes get magnesium sulfate because of these conditions, and you want to be also checking those deep tendon reflexes. Now, we talked about in the electrolyte videos, you know, with um, some of the electrolyte imbalances, you can have diminished deep tendon reflexes. So say you are working on a med surge floor and your patient has really low um, electrolyte levels you, or high electrolyte levels, you'd want to check those deep tendons to make sure you have a baseline compared to um, before. So all of a sudden they're diminished. How were they whenever you assessed them earlier? So that is why we want to do this as nurses. Now, um, for documentation purposes, whenever you do assess your deep tendon reflexes, you use a grading scale. Now, whenever you're checking deep tendon reflexes, you need to practice this skill over and over because you have to understand what hyperreflexive versus hyporeflexive is because this scale is really subjective and it takes practice to understand it. So let me go over how you would grade. Okay, a four plus, this is what is super really active. This is the highest score you can get. It's considered hyperactive or clonus. Next is a three plus. This is where it's brisker than normal. It's considered hyperreflexia, reflexive. And two, this is where you want the patient. This is normal. So hopefully your patient is scoring a two plus. And uh, one plus is diminished. They're not very reflexive, and you would consider this hyporeflexive. And zero, a score of zero means they're completely absent, you get no response at all. So now let's go over these five deep tendon reflexes and show you how to elicit a response in one. Now let's elicit the responses of the deep tendon reflexes. Okay, a lot of people, whenever you're first starting out, they have trouble eliciting a response. So some tips whenever you are going to get that tendon to respond, you wanna make sure you swing your hammer nice and brisk, not too slowly, not too fastly. Make sure you move it back because you don't want the hammer to rest on the tendon after you hit because you're not gonna get the response you want. Also, you wanna make sure that you are hitting a tendon. A lot of people, whenever they're beginning, they really don't know what they're hitting, and what you're hitting is the tendon of that particular muscle. So always make sure you're finding that. And a good way to get to find that tendon is that to have the patient flex the muscle and you can feel a cord-like area, which is the tendon of where you're supposed to hit. So the first one we're gonna hit is the bicep tendon. 
Okay, the first tendon reflex we're going to check is the bicep tendon. And the bicep tendon is located below the bicep muscle in the antecubital fossa area. If you're beginning out, what you wanna do is you wanna find that tendon. So to find the tendon, we are going to have the patient flex the arm and flex the bicep and you will find it right in there and it feels like a cord-like area. And whenever you find it, just put your thumb over it. And this is going to elicit the response of C5 to C6. So I have my thumb over the tendon area and I'm gonna have him relax the muscle and just drape his forearm over his lap. And then I'm just gonna hit with my hammer briskly. And what you're looking for is contraction of the bicep and flexion of the forearm. And we have a little bit of a response and there we go. Okay, now let's do the tricep. Okay, now we're going to um, check the tricep deep tendon, and it is located on the back of the arm right above the elbow. And if you're just new, you're trying to find it, what you can do is just extend the arm out, and you can feel just right above the elbow that deep tendon. So what you're gonna do is you want this whole area to be relaxed. So we're going to help the patient dangle their arm, tell them to let it go limp, and this is going to check C7 to C8. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hammer and just briskly hit on that deep tendon. And what you'll see is extension of the forearm and a slight contraction of the tricep. So here we go. And seen that, seen that flex and back contract, do it one more time. There we go. Now let's check our brachial, brachioradialis. Okay, we're gonna check the brachioradialis deep tendon, and this is checking C5 to C6. This can be one of the most difficult tendons to find because it's not as pronounced as the other tendon. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the radial styloid process, which is the nodule on the wrist, and go about two to three centimeters above that. Have the patient turn where their thumb's upward, relaxing the forearm, resting it on their um, leg. We're gonna go right above that. And what we're looking for is for the hand to supinate, which the palm will turn out upward, and you will see a little bit of flexion in the forearm. Okay, as you notice that right there. Okay, now let's check our patellar and our Achilles. Okay, to check the patellar reflex, this is gonna be looking at L2 to L4. And to find the tendon, what you wanna do is locate the kneecap and then go just a little bit right below it. And the best way is to have the patient extend the leg out and then that tendon will pop out. And that is where you're gonna go. Okay, after locating the tendon, put your hand behind the knee just to support it, have them relax. And the tendon's right here. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to um, tap briskly and what we're looking for is this lower leg to extend outward so here we go and we got a response there and one more time and got a really good response there Okay, now let's check the Achilles. Achilles is gonna look for L5 to S2, and this is best done having the patient dangle their feet, just like whenever you're checking the patellar, you usually wanna check those two together. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna dors dorsiflex the foot up like that, and you will see the tendon, which is located right above the heel. Um, it's right there, and what we're gonna do is we're looking for the foot to plantar flex. So it's gonna go down like that to elicit a response. But in order to do it, you're gonna dorsiflex the foot by supporting your hand underneath it and just tapping the bottom of it. And flex, and we'll do it again. Okay, so that is how you check the deep tendon reflexes. Please be sure to check out my other nursing skill videos and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.